The IBF world champion, once again his record, 35 victories, 29 wins by knockout, only two defeats. From Brooklyn, New York, the miracle man, Danny Jacobs to the scale. Sixty pounds for the IBF World Champion, the Miracle Man, Daniel Jacob. Next on to the scales, his record: fifty-one victories, thirty-five wins by knockout, only one defeat, two draws. The former super middleweight champion, two-time light middleweight champion. Reigning, defending, lineal ring magazine, WBA, WEC, middleweight world champion, Saul Canelo Alvarez. 159, one half pounds, Canelo Alvarez. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, champion versus champion. It all goes down tomorrow night here at T-Mobile Arena, courtesy of MGM Resorts. Presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, along with Hennessy Never Stop, Never Settle, and Orange Crush Knockout Flavor. Here they are, champion versus champion, ladies and gentlemen. Face to face, a little more than 24 hours away from their historic meeting. Will this be a step to eventually having an undisputed middleweight world champion? Canelo Alvarez, Miracle Man Daniel Jacobs. It all goes down tomorrow night here at Team Mobile Arena. Champion versus champion for the IBF, WBA, WBC, Middleweight Championship of the World. What's up guys, you're watching Boxing Legacies, and there you have it. That was Alvarez and Jacobs getting her handbags out during the weigh-in. Um, <laughs> I always love it when this happens. I love it when two fighters sort of have a pushing match. Um, we saw it with um, Miller Joshua when they had their um, press conference, but it was kind of a bit different. Joshua was the bigger man. But in this case, I, just, I genuinely don't think that these two guys like each other. You know, but um, before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to my uh, current subscribers. You know, I've gained a few more. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I would love to hit 50 by the end of the week. So if you guys could help me out, that'd be great. Hit that subscribe button. Right. So uh, we're heading towards the uh, the showdown between Alvarez and Jacobs, and I'm I can't wait for it. I absolutely cannot wait for it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a brilliant fight. You know, both guys have got attributes. That can you know that they can use to their advantage over the other guy. Um, I do honestly feel that Alvarez may have a little bit more, but you know it remains to be seen. But Jacobs, he is a man with so much heart. You have to give him credit for what he's achieved. I mean, you know, to come through what he did. Um, you know, was it about eight nine year ago now? He came. He came through such a challenging time in his life, and to still be able to achieve what he's achieved has just been absolutely fantastic. You know, he's a guy that, you know, came through osteosarcoma. You know, if I if I remember rightly, I believe it's a it's a rare form of bone cancer. You know, and you don't just get over that kind of stuff, you know, you don't just pop down to your pharmacy to get over that kind of stuff. That is a grueling process. You know, and all credit to him to be able to, you know, be a title holder, thirty seven fights, thirty five wins, twenty nine KOs. You know, in his career to date, you know, after going through what he went through, you know, I am 
in total disbelief that this guy is still fighting at the level he's fighting at, and you've got to give him credit for that. But on the other side, you know, Alvarez, you know, he's had 54 fights, 51 wins, I believe, um, and uh, over 30 KOs, I think it's about 35, 36 KOs. You know, he is sort of the upper elite, and I think Jacobs is just your elite. I think there is a slight skill divide. But we will see. We will see on the night. I mean, I I hope it's. I hope it goes to twelve. I hope we see an epic fight. I hope. I hope both both fighters get knocked down and get up. I want to see one of those kind of grit your teeth, grueling wars. I I don't want to see a one or two round finish. It just wouldn't sort of. After all the hype, it wouldn't do it justice. I mean, and there's there's lots of things going around. You know, lots of boxing fans say that Alvarez possibly lost to Triple G. You know, during their during their fights, I I can see the argument for both sides. You know, but you have to give Alvarez the credit; he is up there with the best, and he he probably is one of the he is in the top two or three in his weight. So yeah, I think Jacobs is going to have quite a tough time in there, but hopefully, hopefully it will be a fight that that everybody enjoys, and I want to see some fireworks. What do you guys think? Do you think Jacobs, after overcoming everything he's overcome, do you think he's he's actually got this boxing chance? Or do you think he's the hill's too high to climb in the you know, with Alvarez? Let me know what you think in the descriptions and I'll um I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Try and get me to hit that fifty by the end of the week, guys. That'd be great. And I'll see you on the next video.